Montreal native Edgar Garipi was born on October 11, 1881, in a beautiful stone house on the corner of what are now Amherst and Hanami Reich Boulevard. Garipi had a very normal life for a boy of his age. He went to school with his three sisters, and being the eldest of the children, he helped his father at the family's grocery store, where he worked until his mid 20s. He then spent a good part of his later 20s working jobs which were unrelated to his future career as a photographer. Gary P was aware that photography was a popular hobby. However, he was too concerned with the uncertainty of the future of photography to simply throw himself professionally into the field due to the fact that Kodak had launched its first portable, easy-to-use camera only a few years prior and many people wanted to give photography a try. He began taking photos in the early 1900s, keeping his day jobs, and practicing his passion for historical documentation as a hobby. His subject of preference was architecture. He was later considered to be a photo historian who was known for his impeccable filing system. Shortly prior to World War I, Gary P. became a full-time photographer documenting architecture, which was contrary to most practices at the time revolving around studio portraiture and family photographs. In 1912, he received his first major contract and finally began earning a living from his photography practice. There appeared to be a need for documentary photography and Gary P. was a perfect fit. He began by providing photos for architecture lecturers such as Jean-Baptiste Lagacé at the Monument National in Montreal. The Gazette newspaper even described Gary P as being a documentarian of great talent. He began accumulating more clients, such as the Commission des Monuments Historiques de la Province du Québec, l'École des Beaux-Arts, l'Université de Montréal, and McGill University, to name only a few. His photography was very accessible and was often used so that it could be shared with the widest possible public for everyone to appreciate. Gary P. was a great photographer and a devout Christian. In fact, many of his photographs were of religious buildings. He also devoted entire series to major religious orders and their institutions. A great example of this is his photograph of the Congregation of Notre Dame, Mother House, now known as Dawson College. Gary P.'s photo of Dawson College was taken around 1910. Jean Omar Marchand, a recent graduate from Paris designed the mother house. The design was influenced by the architect's Parisian background and this building was the only one of its kind in the city of Montreal. Gary P had a good reason to document the religious institution. The building resembled a big H built with yellow bricks that stood out from the dark gray stone other institutions had been built with at the time. From this vantage point, Yai P. was able to document the grandeur of the institution, highlighting its construction and distinctive dome. The photo also captures the essence of the city in the far off distance. Industries were in full production, and the mother house was located in a more remote and what appears to be a quieter green space. The largest collection of Gary P.'s photographs belonged to the City of Montreal archives but the one of Dawson College can be found at the McCord Museum. This photo in particular was acquired as a gift from Mr. Stanley G. Triggs, a former curator of the Notman Photographic Archives at the McCord Museum. He was also an avid collector of Canadian photographs from the East and West Coasts, found at various auction houses and garage sales. We are very fortunate to have had someone like Gary P. who was so keen on documenting history. Thanks to him, our collection of Montreal photographs is rich and informative. Of course, there are other photographs of this iconic institution by other photographers during other time periods, but this particular photo captures the building's architecture and its grandeur perfectly.